Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick experiment to test out the static accuracy of the Hemisphere S631 receiver. So what I've done is I've set up my receiver over the same point, and on multiple different days I've recorded using different record rates and over a different time interval. So this will give us an idea of what the best settings are to record static over, and what time length you can get the optimal results with. So for this experiment, I'm going to test out 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 2 hours, and 4 hours, and then I'm also going to be checking out different record rates. So I'm going to check out 5 hertz, so 5 recordings every second, 1 hertz, so a recording every second, and then a recording every 5 seconds, and a recording every 15 seconds, and then I'm going to put it through my Rhinox converter, send it off to PPP, and see what kind of results I can get. All right, I'm back in the office, and what I've done is I've downloaded all the data off the 631, I've put it through PPP, and I've tabulated all of our error ellipses. So we can take a look and find out what the best time scale is, and the best recording interval for the 631 is to take some static data. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw up all three of my graphs here on screen, my longitudinal error, my latitudinal error, and my ellipsoidal height error ellipses. And you're going to see that these all have a very common pattern. So I'm just going to go in on one of them here. And in this case, I'm going to use the longitudinal error one. And you can see that on my shortest time scale, I actually couldn't get 15 seconds to work. There wasn't enough data to process for PPP. But the 5 second produced the largest error, followed by the 1 hertz, followed by the 5 hertz. And that makes complete sense to me, because if we're thinking about this, the shorter time scale, we're going to want more data to average to get a more concise and precise error ellipse. So the faster the record rate, the better my chances are of getting enough data to shrink that error ellipse down. So I think the most surprising takeaway is the fact that the 5 second and 15 second time intervals were actually more accurate than the 5 hertz and 1 hertz intervals at 45 minutes. So on really short burst stuff, you're going to want to turn up that interval to get more accurate data. But as you increase your time scale, it appears to be actually better to turn that down and reduce the time scale or the time interval and reduce the time interval on those recordings. And that seems to lead to better results. And this is repeated across all of the error ellipses I looked at in this experiment. And again, I'm just going to throw up the latitude one here and you can see the similar pattern. The one hertz and the five seconds was the least accurate at 15 minutes. That five hertz again, much like the longitude error, was better. But as we push out into the 45 minute time scale and two hour time scale, it actually seems like it's beneficial to turn down that recording interval to 15 or five seconds, you get better results. And again, the elevation is nearly identical to the other two. So what does this mean for your day to day operations? What can you actually apply in the field here? And I'm going to preface this before I make any sort of conclusions that this is by no means a very scientific process I took a single recording for each parameter, so I took 16 in total, um, but this is by no means an average, so this isn't the complete picture, but this, is, this should give you at least a very good idea of what is going on and what you can expect in the field. And what I would tell you to do is, if you're looking for short occupation times, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I would turn up your recording speed to 5 hertz. I wouldn't push it to the 10 hertz one, you can run into some issues at that faster recording speed. 5 hertz is the fastest I would go with this receiver. And then if you're going to occupy any longer than that, pushing over 30 minutes, 45 minutes, anywhere to 7 8 hours, I would turn down your recording interval to 15 seconds. You get the same results, but you're going to increase your battery life and you're going to save a little bit on data. And at the end of the day, you can yes, you can turn it up to that 5 hertz if you want to make sure you have more measurements, but you're not going to see any results that are better than the 15 second one and you're just putting less strain on the receiver, less stress on the batteries, everything like that. Um, so it's just better to keep it at that 15 second interval. And that is everything for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or you have any questions about anything on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204, or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.